Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to con we're going to conduct uh, constructing strings with variables. This is super useful stuff. This is this is probably one of the most useful things that this course has covered up to this point. Even though a lot of the stuff that's previous to it is required for this, um, we're going to be using strings to construct uh, variables all the time. So this is a really important one. Sometimes you'll need to build a string, uh, Mad Lib style. I don't know what that is, by using a concatenation operator. You can insert one or more variables into a string you're building. Uh, my set my name to a string equal to your name and build my string with my name between the strings. My name is and I am well. Um, okay, so <coughs> so um, my name should set to a string at least three characters long. We want to use the plus operator to build my string with my name. Um, so we've got our name and our string, and you can see that they built it here. If we were to console law, oh, our name and our string. They only want us to change the code below here. Hello, our name is free code camp. Our name, free code camp, our string. Hello, our name is, okay. And so they've done an example here and what they want you to do is put it here. So my name's Ian. And then the string here is going to be, they want you to, did they say I am well? Okay, so you're just going to say uh, my name, ooh. My name is, and then we're going to use the variable name for my name right there. And then uh, we're going to say, and I am well. And so um, once it renders out, I'm not sure if this will print to the ears, but we can do that if we go console log and we console log my string. You can see that it's concatenated it all together, and so this is a single string, which is pretty cool. Um, a lot of times in practice, if you were to have this kind of thing, you could, um, I notice a lot of times we, we, uh, we write the space in there like this. And so you can concatenate variables that it doesn't matter whether or not they have the string together. Um, and then this, this is just another way to do it. So this is really, really useful because with my name, you can generate this using different JavaScript algorithms and other stuff that we're going to learn in the future. And then say you had a list of names you could just print out uh, a, a large number of people's names just by doing that. But we can get more into that in the future. But for now, uh, this is a really useful sort of uh, uh, or idea. If we were to do that, say, uh, you could say my, my name heading. This is just another example that doesn't actually, uh, I'm just doing it in HTML so you have an idea for how all this stuff comes together. So you could go my name header. And then if you set that, you could set that equal to some HTML, right? So H1. Uh, Ian, close H1. Okay, so then and then we can say uh, there my page header, and then the page header is going to have to be like in a nav bar, right? And then you can say plus uh, my name header, and then close the nav bar. And then if you were to console log this, my page header you're going to find that it's going to actually render out in what would be real looking HTML. And then if you had a list of five or six things in my name header, you could have each one of them render out there and then you'd have a list of that. Um, I actually think that list elements would probably be a better example of where you use this in, in purpose. And you could say uh, my page header, um, you, going off of our previous example, my page header, you can do a plus equals operator and then you can add the name and then you can set the page header to an ordered list and then you don't want to redeclare the variable you need to set it like that and then we can do my page header so if you were to put this into an HTML engine, this would actually render out a list. And if you had a list of names, you could um, do this really well. Uh, if you had a list of names, you could list out all the names within this outline or this unordered list or ordered list uh, HTML. And that would make it so that you can start writing big applications that are, um, that are scalable. So this is just an example that's not uh, required at all for this uh, lesson. This is just me going a little bit more into, de into detail. But for the purposes of this, I believe this will pass the test. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next lesson.